So then we are back with some more understandings from the time of the second tabernacle services where we find the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end as per Yeshayahu the prophet. We find layers of understanding of the spring feast, the autumn feast, and also the returning of the holy cities of the Hamashiach laid waste for many centuries. Reading from Yeshayahu the prophet, it's very important making a simultaneous line from what the prophet then explained regarding the 23rd chapter of Yeshaya. Now then, the time of the restoration period, it's not only the tabernacle, but also the trade. So very importantly, the trade during this period of time until the autumn feast, there is a section of history that was never under any condition experienced before. Now then, it's quite amazing the lack of understanding from governments of the West realizing that China is linking the Pacific, linking the Asian market in their own system and properly charging taxes and these taxes are obviously charged in a certain way that every person buying via internet or not they are duly charged so then ensures the future network of China. Now, the point is China has a very flexible network. In the West is very rigid. In other words, the rigidity of the system of the West simply does not admit a direct link from central bank and non-monetary centralized systems. Now then, that's the whole situation yet not properly aligned because China is making very important upgrades and these upgrades are obviously related with economical zones and this system relates with services hired from other nations. Now then, because China has a very powerful industry, the giveaway of the information is the simple visit of the Chinese president in many countries. He always, or most often, every time he's talking with the public or with governments, he is explaining the importance of infrastructuring. Now then, it's kind of uh, the information is is given by itself. Now then, if you're a person doing trade or making a deal with other nations, understandably there are some safeguards that can ensure proper trade. Now, it's very strange when you receive a person that talks in the midst of trade, how is your infrastructuring? <laughs> it's kind of a bit weird because most often leaders they don't do this. They talk of their situations, their circumstances, but when a person goes around in another country and says, How is your infrastructure in your ports, your airports, or your roadways? 
your train lines and then a person kind of a steps back for a moment and and thinks it through you can only talk in those terms if you have an absolutely important plan that's going to have an impact global wise the very talking itself is giving the answer now some people say I are reading into it or so on and so forth but if we can point out the number of leaders they go to the other nations and they start talking of infrastructure it's not truly a point regarding a visit of a leader it's not truly a concern of a foreign leader coming around and talking of infrastructure save if you have an absolutely powerful plan now then the Asian market as strong as it is it's gonna at some point show the nations the economical zones that China must expect because they're going to lend money, lend materials, equipment, fuel, money and they're going to expect some sort of a return of their investment now China is becoming so big that they are hiring other services of other nations and they are becoming obviously a distribution center they are becoming stockpiling areas and when the system then is launched not very many years from today then at that point is going to be very late society won't be able to catch up with the system they're going to have to adapt the Chinese system because they won't have time to form another block as we have time in our nation to do so these days but the politicians are obviously blind they don't know what's going on the first indication is they only want to come up with a form of wallowing around the next four years and then the other government comes in another four years so people are observing very intently government comes in governments go out and not much truly gets done now then the network and its flexibility it's not only a convenient way of having trade in the internet <laughs> it's a means of taxation this doesn't enter the heads of the government it's not truly a nice way of promoting trade the reason why China is so big is because they know how to tax them they produce obviously but they know how to tax the system now the taxation system in our country is very faulty besides there are so many frauds besides so many other politicians stealing in the form of contracts and a lot of them they get money from behind and we don't even know it so the fraud is so rampant and then they wonder are we, we are going to ever come out of this hole now then there is a skirmish going on in North Korea okay understandable they want to test some sort of nuclear weapon of such but the point is the more China is upgrading their system of trade and the network then we get involved in another war and there is another situation going on more expenses coming up not so many nations using our money anymore and there are, our tax system is outdated 
What do they expect? A miracle in the future? Huh? That's another situation. And another four years and then comes in another government and lies some more and another forty years and another group of liars they come around and they come out rich. And there they are, people simply not receiving raises. Perspective of growth in the future is very slim. Slave salary. So, the holy instructions, they say there is a time for every purpose under heaven. People are much more studied these days. And people are very observative. Now the system of the West is simply bankrupt. As if a car is going on only with the vapors of fuel. In this situation of buying American and hire American and with American labor, what is this? Is a person going, you know, to hire an American person that costs four times more in the times of crisis as it is? It's a nice idea. Absolutely nice idea, but that's what it is. It's only nice, but not practical. Now then, the point is not making American first, it's making sure we know how to tax the system. Ensuring proper taxation for this new era of trade via internet. Now then, should we give values of our country? Absolutely. But are these values are viable. Thus far, we're not going to find very many companies that are going to let go people for cheap and hire people with expenses much higher and then not giving raises. Not in the condition that the country is. Now, some things are logic, some people simply, you know, they have dreams. It's nice of having dreams. When there is a lot of money in the pocket, it's very nice becoming a dreamer. Now, when a person has barely, you know, to get the month through, you know, those people, you know, have, you know, very many dreams. The only thinking if they have enough to eat the next day. Now then, taxation was always important in this country. Always was. There's one thing the person would never play with was taxation. Now this last decade or so, it has changed. There are thousands upon thousands of people, they don't pay any taxes. The system is absolutely faulty. You can buy scores and scores and scores of products that don't pay any taxes. For some reason, North Dakota is very unique. In any kind of a virtual purchase, they don't charge any taxes. You know, a place that is absolutely repleted with cold weather and snow, and, and they don't charge taxes for virtual purchases of virtual or software products. Not sure where they got this idea from, but you know the economy over there is it's not very big. So if any kind of a product is generating and sold, how come they are not charging taxes for it? Or for them? And then they come around with big dreams and so on and so forth. <laughs> You know, the great majority of people, they can, they can barely make it.
now then they are talking of a social security system and you know a lot of troubles now the objective of the people simply is figuring out is there a plan for the next 40 years only wallowing around until 40 years comes around or is it truly a plan that's going to generate more jobs such as raising the minimum wage it's stagnated for so long because the lives of the workers at the moment is going through the humdrum of every day and they get their paychecks by the time they do the calculation they barely have any you know couple cents in the pocket oh yeah great dreams sure now then China is coming up with very bold plans for the undeveloped nations now as was pointed out before every time they go around nations you know they talk of simply the same point how is your infrastructure are you working your roads are you working your railroads are you working in your ports oh so, yeah we are having a, a big huge plan is going to be revealed in the future are you being prepared for it it is so strongly in their society these kinds of developments that you know they don't perceive that they are already giving answers without giving the answers. Well, then, as far as, as the holy instructions in Daniel and Revelation, they are very precise regarding the system of trade of the end. Now then, if any nation in the first world countries, if they don't understand the importance of a flexibility in the network, and then making sure they understand the simultaneous centralized monies, decentralized monies, working with those simultaneously in their system and properly charging their taxes, then there is no space in the future for the nations. The word is already saying it, the word is revealing it. But there they are, you know, the more technology there is in the West is walking backwards into the future. Things are so archaic. No, the technology is available, but the people doing the thinking in the government, they are so old and outdated. There are certain data, certain ways of doing trade via internet that doesn't tolerate 50, 70 years ago type of thinking. The system simply does not match with it. Now, I'm not talking about the values. I'm talking about the system. There is a huge distinction from a system and the values. Now then, the value system is important to make sure the system is working properly, but then what kind of modern system there is in the world? Are they going to maintain an, an old-fashioned way of taking care of a system that's outdated? Not saying that the system does not have any value. Simply pointing out that the system coming from the East, there is a network of flexibility as we simply do not have it. Our economy is ruined. Now we simply are living in, 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 in vapors of hope and, you know, make America great and so on and so forth. These are vapors in the tank of a car that doesn't drive anymore. Uh, and 
on Wednesday, we're going to get more information from the government of tax reforms and so on and so forth. We're going to wait and, and watch for it. So next time, we're going to evaluate more of these via revelation and making sure we understand this topic. So please stay tuned. Much more coming up.